West off. Johnson beats him again. Duffield to Crum, Robertson. Matthew Pavlich still stuck on 499 career goals. Johnson to the pocket, to him, on cue. And this would be a great full stop for the game. The crowd applaud. He's had a couple of half chances in the last uh, 60 minutes of football to kick the 500th, but he's handballed it or just chipped it away. But I think this one, Dwayne, we'd be disappointed if he didn't go back and at least have a shot. It's been a good afternoon, Pav. He's had 17 disposals and kicked three goals straight. For goal number 500 for his career. Strikes it OK. The Purple Heart. His fourth for the day, 500th of his career, and the 51st AFL VFL player to reach the magical 500 figure. Port Adelaide led by 13 points in the opening term, kicking against the breeze. But Fremantle hit back with a four goal to nil second term. And it's been all uphill for Port Adelaide since then. Roden to the top of the square. And Maine crashes the contest on the siren. Fifth win of 2012 for Fremantle. And Ross Lyon and the Dockers take another step up the AFL ladder. And they're now one victory away and a little bit of percentage from top spot. Fremantle 12 15 87. Port Adelaide 7 5 47. The Dockers by 40. Let's head downstairs. One of the stars of the show, the Purple Heart, Matthew Pavlich, with goal number 500 today. Downstairs with Glenn Jakovich. He certainly was, Dwayne. What a fantastic performance by uh, the skipper. But, Matthew, at times it was an ugly game, but you got the job done. Yeah, look, it's, uh, it wasn't perfect again, but the good news is it's, uh, it's four points in the bank. It's the second time uh, we played this year here where we just didn't kick straight. It was a uh, pretty good day for footy as well. So we're back uh, in front of the big sticks come Monday. You're the 51st uh, player, VFL, AFL, all time to kick 500 goals. You set yourself four goals. Fantastic day for you. What is the milestone media? Oh, I guess top 51's to reasonable effort. I actually didn't realise that was the case. Look, more importantly, we played um, some reasonable footy today. It's, um, it's been well known that we've been, you know, winning games but we've, and in games of footy, but we really haven't played four quarters. And it'd be interesting to review how we went, but um, it's a nice result. Please tell us three-quarter time, Ross Lyon, he gave you an almighty bake collectively as a team. Just frustrated through that third quarter? Well, frustrated the fact that we couldn't capitalise on our opportunities, you know. I think the midfield and the, the forwards got a bake for our use and our, uh, our method going inside 50. Um, the defence were holding up and not letting the ball into the defensive half. So it was more about us uh, forward and, uh, and the midfield not using it and playing our brand of footy. So it was very much deserved and I think the guys responded well. Five and two, you're starting to consolidate yourself in the top eight, but a big challenge next week, Hawthorne. Yeah, it's a big couple of weeks coming up. Uh, it's a big trip down to Launceston and the guys will rest up on a six-day break and be ready for Saturday. Thanks. Enjoy Mother's Day, mate. Well done. Good stuff. Thanks, Jack. Cheers, mate. Ben Jankovic with Matthew Pavlich. And a nice touch here from the Fremantle Dockers. Uh, no footballs, no little balls going into the crowd, uh, but they're giving away a bunch of flowers to some mums out in the crowd. Rue, how would you see the game? Look, I thought they were solid. They weren't spectacular by any stretch. I mean, they, they won the game pretty convincingly. They didn't kick uh, straight. They, they did have 55 inside, 50s to 36. That probably tells you about where the game was at. But it was pretty scrappy. There was a lot of handball. There was a fair few turnovers. But it was another four points. And, uh, look, they've got five out of seven now. So uh, they're going along pretty nicely. And, uh, look, they look like they're going to play finals footy. That's... Uh the likely outcome, but they're still not playing great footy for no. mine. Fell in against Port Ad fell in against Port Adelaide today. Uh, Forty points, I guess. Uh, it's not a falling in. It's it's probably uh, a game where they just played average footy. Could have play could have won by a hell of a lot more, but they fell in against the Suns last week, which the was the one that uh, could well have turned the uh, their season on its head. But uh, here they did get the four points. Forty seven to eighty seven. The Dockers, big winners. And they get the four points.